Welcome to part three of improving your graphing app. This is going to be the final part and we're gonna continue right where we left off. We just set up our scale to be able to plot the data and have it all on screen, on the stage, so that we can see it. Now I'm looking at number nine and I can see that it says we should show the boys and girls in different colors. So what we have to do is change our graph data points. Over here, when we're graphing the data points, we wanna make sure that we are Oops, let's see. We're not plotting the, the point item one of item or item two of item. We have to specifically choose what we want to plot. If we want to plot the age of the item. So instead of item one, maybe we're going to plot, let's see, ages. So we're going to do age. And in the Y graph, we are going to plot heights. So I have to make sure that I update my graph data points to, to be correct. And if we want to set boys and girls to be different colors, we have to check to see the gender of each item as we're doing it. And we have to make sure that we give it a different costume because the way that I did it is probably different than the way that the BJC creators uh, uh, intended. Remember I drew dots for all my data points and each dot was a, I changed the costume of the sprite. So we're gonna just have to change the costumes for what we want to represent males and what we want to represent females. So to do that, we're going to use the control palette. Uh, we're going to use a conditional. And we're going to check to see if the gender of the item, so that's going to be in my operator's palette, if the gender of the person, oops, this has to be a predicate. So I have to, I have to make sure that I check to see if it's male or female. So let's do, uh, you know what? We're going to probably need an if else, because if it's not male, it's probably female. So let's do an if else instead of just an if. And now I can remove this, uh, this if down here. And if the gender of the person, oops, what did I do? There we go. If the gender of the person or of the item that we're looking at equals male, then we wanna make sure that we set the costume to something that we want to represent male. Now I haven't done that. I haven't created costumes for all of the for males and females. I just have uh, the black dot. I think it's called untitled right now. So that's not good. That's not what I want. But I'm just showing you guys what you want it, what you might want to do to get it to show uh, males versus females. So we'll switch to the costume that you know that we'll have to create. Otherwise, if it's female, so then we have to switch to the other costume. We have to make sure that we are set setting the other costume uh, as the costume that we use before we plot the point. And so I think that, let's see, will this work correctly? So for each item, if, yeah, if it's male, set it to the male costume. If it's otherwise, it must be female, set it to the female costume and then plot the point and then lift up or put the pen down. Oh yeah, because we were connecting all the points initially. But if we're doing a scatter plot, we don't really want to put the pen down. So we want to lift, we want to make sure the pen doesn't come down. Otherwise, it's going to connect all the points. I'm going to take off the pen down block for now. Remember in the last video, if there's time, I think, you had to create a uh, Boolean. So we could create another input here and check to see if that's true and whether we should have the pen down or not. So I'll let you guys figure that out because it was like a, almost like extra credit. But for now, I think this could work for plotting our points. We just have to set the costumes now. So I'm just gonna quickly do that and see if we can uh, get this working. So let me paint a new costume. And for boys, I'm gonna just use green. Let's see, I'll just make a small little costume and we'll call this, uh, we'll call this male. And for females, we're gonna create a new costume and let's use, uh, let's use blue for females, okay? Oops, that's not looking like a circle. Let me undo that. Let's use blue and create a small blue dot for females. And let's call it, let's rename it to female. And now we can change our costumes. So if the gender of the person is male, we're gonna set it to M or male, sorry. Otherwise, we're gonna set it to female and then we're going to plot that point. And it's gonna plot the age of the person on the X axis and the height of the person along the Y axis. So we have a, a huge moment of truth coming right up. Uh, I set my graph. You see that it takes like a few seconds because it has to do a lot of math behind the scenes. And now when I hit graph data points, it says expecting list, but getting numbers. So 
we have an issue here. What are we, what are we doing wrong? So we're going through each item of the data. Let me just make sure that this is correct. Uh, and then the gender of the person. And then we plot the point. So when we plot point, uh, let's see. Expecting list but getting number. Why would it do that? Oh, maybe maybe because we don't plot the points. No, this should this should work. Let me think. I'm not sure why it's not working, but let me just try one more time. Expecting list but getting number. So is it possible that we never initialized our, our list or something? No. Set graph scale should have done that for us. Let me just double check. Uh, let me just check my variables. Let's see if my variables are set up. Yeah, it looks like the step size, the x min val, x y val. It looks like all of these are set up. So that might not be the problem. And it's announcing the axis position. That's all being done correctly. Uh, but then when I graph it, it's not it's not working correctly. Expecting list but getting number. Hmm. Let me try to debug it by checking to see, or having it say the item that we're looking at. So let's have it say the item for two seconds. Um, and let's see if this works. Let's see if this allows us to debug it. So the item that I'm expecting is the entire data set for one person. Um, and let's see if that works before it gets stuck somewhere else. So I'm gonna hit apply, I'm gonna hit okay. And it says, okay. So it set it somewhere. I just can't see the, the sprite. So I'm gonna have to show the sprite on the stage somewhere. Let's show the sprite and let's run it again. So it gives me the entire, okay, it gives me the entire data set. You saw that pretty quickly. I'm gonna run it one more time, but expecting list but getting numbers. So some there must be some other issue. Maybe it's not able to give me the gender of the person uh, so let me try that. Let me try saying that instead. Oops. Let me try saying this to debug it. And if this works, then that's not the issue. Let's say it for four seconds, just so I can kind of like see what's going on here. It should say female, because I think the first item is a female. There we go, F. So that works. And then we get our error, expecting list but getting number. So where is that happening? It's not happening here. Uh, switch to costume male, switch to costume female. We graph our data point. Hmm, maybe it is inside of plot point. Something might be wrong inside of plot point or something might be wrong with what we're trying to pass as an item. You know what, let's try to say the age of the person. Let's see if uh, this works. So let's see if the age works. And then we'll try to see if the height works. Oh my gosh, wait a second. We're passing, oh, this is this might be the issue. Age might not be, we might not want to give the age of one person. Or wait, we might not want to give the heights. One of these might be wrong because I see that age is singular and heights is plural. So one of these two might be wrong. Let me see if we can get the age out, if we can extract that first. So let me uh, debug it by getting the, the first age, and we do, 137.4. Now, let's try debugging it by getting out this height. And I think this is where our problem is. Uh, let's see, let's hit apply and let's run it. And here's where we get the error. So I, I, I narrowed it down to uh, heights. That is our problem. It says expecting list, but getting number. So this is wrong. We don't want to report back the heights. We just want a singular height. Singular height. Where is that? There we go. Of the person, and that is going to be the person item. So now I can remove this say block because I don't need to debug this anymore. And I think this should work. Let me remove that. Let me hit apply. Let me hide the the block. Let me let me hide the sprite, I mean. And let's try running it. Perfect. Look at that. So we just plotted the ages versus the heights. Um, it's not very, maybe it's not really telling us a story. Like for females, uh, it looks like they're all over the place. Maybe as they get a little bit older, they're a little bit taller. Uh, but for males, it kind of looks like there might be that pattern. 
but maybe not because we have this outlier down here who's like some old dude with a, with a very short height. Uh, it happens. But I think that was useful. I think this video was very useful for you guys to see how I get stuck and how I can plot the data that I want to see. So we've created all the tools. We've built them to, to graph anything we want. We faced a bug and we debugged it. You guys were able to see how I used the say block to debug. And I think, I think we are good. So thank you so much for watching this series. I will see you in the next video.